good morning from the most beautiful city I've ever been to in my entire life. We're in Edinburgh. It's actually not morning, it's 11.30. We slept like rocks last night. We've been traveling for 15 days now, and this weekend especially was a really big one. This is actually our fourth day in Edinburgh because this past weekend we met up with Matt's entire friend group from college. <laughs> And they had a reunion and we also did a ton of stuff here at Fringe. We saw a bunch of shows. So every August in Edinburgh, there's the Fringe Festival, which is this month-long music, comedy, arts, and culture festival. And there's shows all over the city. It's absolutely packed. So we met up with his entire friend group and we just spent the weekend spending time. I met everybody for the first time. They were catching up. We saw shows. There was a little bit of drinking. And it was really, really wonderful. But now... Weekend is over, it's Monday, and it's Matt and I's solo day in the city together. So I thought I would take you guys along. This is, without a doubt, the most beautiful city I've ever, ever been to. It's absolutely magical here. I don't even know what we're getting up to today. When Matt and I travel, we like to kind of have a loose idea of things we want to do, but not really have a super detailed itinerary sometimes because we like the wander. When you're visiting a new city and you want to get, well, it's a new city for me. Matt's obviously been here a dozen times, but for me, when I'm visiting a new place, I like to get a feel for what it might be like to actually live there. And I accomplish that through the wander, which literally just means you pick a thing you might want to do. And instead of Ubering there or taking a taxi, you just walk. And along the way, if you see something cool you want to stop off at, you do it. You just wander. Matthew? Yeah? How are you feeling after friend reunion and fringe? Yeah. Um, that sleep was necessary, wasn't it? We slept for about nine or ten straight hours. Um, I think that's a combination of the fact that it's just been... We haven't really been in one place for longer than four or five days yet. And I think chopping and changing like the beds you sleep in and your environment kind of... Yeah, tires you, and agreed. Then flights and then trains. It all was just a little bit of an energy sapper. So this weekend was really big, but we pushed through it. And then we had a big, big sleep last night. So I think we're actually feeling pretty refueled and ready to kind of get out. And honestly, I think like now we're we're both feeling really good and yeah. ready to, to kind of wander. You ready to wander with me? That was a good interview. Was it? Okay, that's yeah, good to Yeah, that hear. was a good interview. He's getting a lot better, guys. <laughs> yeah. What was your favorite part about seeing all your friends again? They were so nice. I was nervous because... It's just a lot of people I don't know, mm. and I'm nervous meeting people I don't know, but all the girls were like, huge girls, girls, and so welcoming, and the guys were funny, and it was, I had a really good time. Yeah, I don't know what the best part was. Honestly, you know, some some of us hadn't seen each other in, like, seven or more years, and the other ones had seen each other. Referring to himself. Then some of us had seen each other, like, last year, so it was like, it was cool to... It was just great, because we all just picked yeah. up kind of where we left off, and we're just like... Yeah. All just very friendly, like really close friends, even though we don't speak every day, but it was very good. It was a really good time. Good. Okay. Are you ready to <laughs> take Edinburgh by storm? I am. Again? I'm ready to take Edinburgh by storm again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> round, round two. Round, no, it's like round four. <laughs> it feels like it's the second round. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of the second round because this is just you and me. It's time. a different fight night. Yeah. That's for sure. I feel like my voice even sounds different. Just from how bit, yeah. Anyway, let's do it. We're getting some black sheep coffee. I don't remember this coffee shop being like, they're been everywhere. Around, but now they're everywhere. They're really pretty. And I got um, a matcha lemonade. Well, I got a lemonade and I added matcha powder. They don't sell it. I, was, I think I was meant to get one before we left from Union Station in Aberdeen, but I, oh, we didn't to, have time. I just went to Costa, Costa. instead. Because it's where the meal deals are. So. Love the meal deals here. It seems like a meal deal, like a Tesco meal deal, Costa meal deal. Uh, big well, part of the was... culture. Roasted, in my Instagram comments, I posted my first Tesco meal deal. Roasted in my comments for picking the wrong thing. So, big part of the culture, apparently. Little matcha lemonade. So we've come down to Grass Market just to eat our little bagel. We've been here multiple times mm. throughout this weekend. I feel like it looks cooler in real life, but it's just this long stream, this long street of shops and restaurants in this really cool section. You can't see it right now because those buildings are in the way, but there's a view of the castle behind these buildings and I'll show you guys later. And then this is Victoria Street, which is like 
the famous big curved street in Edinburgh, and I'll show you guys that too. Okay, so this is Victoria Street, and I feel like this is the one street you guys are definitely gonna recognize. And we're gonna walk up this today because I've been wanting to since we got here. And I saw this sign for Mary's Milk Bar the other day, and I learned it's ice cream. The ice cream in Scotland is phenomenal. So phenomenal. So I definitely wanna get that. Matthew, can you pull this for my fit check? No. Okay, so here's my outfit, plus the Zara oversized bomber jacket that 60% of the girls here are wearing that I bought when I got here because I needed a coat. So plus that jacket, here's my outfit. It's this little cropped button down from Zara. This is a skort from Abercrombie. It's the pleated menswear skort, um, which I love because it's more comfy than a skirt for me. These sunnies are from Lulu's. I love like the yellow translucent tinted sunglasses. And then these are my shoes. They're Golas. I love Golas because they kind of look like Adidas, but they're a little bit more unique than Adidas. I've been wearing them this entire trip. I feel like they're perfect for gallivanting around a European city. So sorry, this is actually West Bow Street. Lucy told me it was Victoria Street. It's West Bow. And it's beautiful. It's still so busy. I thought it would calm down on a Monday, but no, it's just as busy as it's been this whole time. Just kidding again, it is Victoria Street. It's two streets. <laughs> Here's a better view of the castle at the foot of uh, grass market. Something I always say about living in DC is that, or in the DC area, is that you'll just turn a random corner or drive down a random street and you'll see the Washington Monument. And it's kind of like the North Star because you won't be expecting it. You know, Matt thinks this too. You'll just be living your life and you'll turn a corner and you'll see the Washington Monument. It's really cool. And the castle, I feel like the castle is the Edinburgh equivalent because you'll just be walking around. And there it is. Mary's Milk Bar is closed Mondays and Tuesdays. So I'm kind of disappointed about that, but I do want ice cream from somewhere else. I feel like Scottish ice cream has ruined American ice cream for me. It's just <laughs> better. A lot of things here are better, but Papa John's, so much worse. US Papa John's is 10,000 times better. Okay, so now we're on the Royal Mile, which I recognize looks extremely similar <laughs> to the road we were just on, but it's different. We did this yesterday too. Check that out. I just can't believe it. Matt's kind of like, yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah, I have, but it's, it's cool every time you do it. This is crazy busy though with the fringe on. Yeah, this is way busier than the city normally is, they say. And we're still just wandering. Yeah, well. We did get tickets for the tattoo tonight, which is like a military band performance by the castle. We're just wandering. In France. All I've wanted all day is ice cream. I finally had to settle for ice cream from a truck. We just couldn't find ice cream anywhere. It's okay. It said luxury ice cream on the truck. I don't think I would say that. <laughs> the seagulls here are vicious. Also, check out, check out the view. A little ice cream with a view of the castle. Guys, look at this footprint in the pavement that is the perfect size and shape of my foot. It's exactly my foot size. <laughs> if you're wondering how many times I can show you a view of the castle from a different part of the city, the answer is at least one more. Matthew's got a little beer. This is what, Prince's Street Gardens? Yes. There's like a little tiny beer garden. It's actually so hot right now. No, it's hot now. If there's one thing I've learned on this trip, if you're like planning a trip to Edinburgh and you're not sure what to wear or what to bring, just lots of layers because you're gonna be too hot, too cold, wet, at least a couple times per day, every single day. It just rotates, it, like rains once or twice a day for 20 minutes and then it's done and then it's hot and then you're sweating and then it gets really cold all of a sudden. Also, there's ice cream in this park, better ice cream, and I just got the shitty truck stuff. So I'm kind of upset. How's your day going? It's going well, actually. I've done a lot of walking today, a lot of little miles on the legs. Lots um, of wandering. Yeah. And I helped out with the show. 
Matt. It was good fun. Yeah, Matt got selected to help imprison an escape artist. Yeah, he asked me to, to make it as tight as possible, and I took that as a challenge. <laughs> he did. And um, yeah, it was. The guy got out though. He, he did, and I was pretty gutted about that. Took him, <laughs> took him at least at least one song longer than he was meant to because he yeah. had timed for the Mission Impossible theme tune, and there was multiple songs played because of it. me and the other guy, this guy called Mark, who was helping out, we, we just took it as a challenge. We're like, yeah. let's let's rig him up here. Good day. Yeah, it's been really fun. Well, glad he got out, but at least, <laughs> at least I made him take extra time. I made him go to extra time for, uh, for him to get out. There you go. And now Matt's just having a beer and look Dude, at this insane view. Just so, so insane. <laughs> hey guys, it's a little bit later. I don't know if you can hear me. We're going to the tattoo. I'm wearing all of the warmest items of clothing that I brought. Uh, um, chickens here.